guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time I'm opening the Transformers Siege Iron Eyed and this is thanks to Josh from BC Direct. Uh, this is a figure that I could not find in any stores and if they were out there it was super expensive so I really do appreciate this. Uh, it's a huge help. Let's go ahead and open this figure up. Uh, and this time I'm going to start from the top. Usually I do it from the side but I usually have problems with that, so I'm going to try something different with this. Uh, it's usually this tab that gives me problems, but maybe I am just stupid. And maybe I can figure this out. Uh, let's see. So yes, there will be a link down in the description below for his channel. Okay, there we go. Oh. So, yeah, it's a lot easier to do it that way. I've been doing it wrong for so long, haven't I? Alright, so there's the Ironhide out of the packaging. He is a lot taller than the normal Transformers Siege figure. Let's go ahead and get out his weapon. I do have that Universe Classics. It's all beat up. But, uh, yeah, that definitely wasn't a great figure. There's his weapon, which I always thought looked kind of weird. I mean, it's cool, you know. But uh, it just didn't feel like Ironhide to me, the, the weapon. I, I don't know why, there was just something about it. Maybe I'm just so used to him having dual wheel, uh, wielding cannons or something, but I don't know. Uh, there's Ironhide, and yes, he does have that. Actually, they look pretty well clipped in this time. Yeah, they're not. Maybe this side. No, that's not falling out. Did they fix that issue in later runs? Because... Yeah, that's not really falling out this time. I don't know, maybe if I mess w around with that a little bit more, but uh, there's the iron hide. Some of the joints are a little loose for some reason. Like, uh, his hips are not there right now. I don't know why. Um, but he also has that opening chest thing that's supposed to come down, and then you bring this up to... Uh, it's supposed to tab in to there so that he gets more of a three-dimensional chest. I will say... In defense of the original Universe Classics toy, it did have a clever way of filling up that chest. It's just very hollow on this toy, but, uh, I mean, I'm not going to take too much issue with it. Um, but there's his cannon. I'm not going to complain too much. I mean, it's Ironhide. It's cool. Uh, hand doesn't really want to plug in. There we go. Okay, now I got it. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Now I can't get the thing to come out. And, uh, let's see. So that folds down like so. And now you got this Warhammer thing. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay, I like that. I prefer that for Ironhide. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if I can figure out the transformation on this guy. Let's see. Fold up that. And then these are going to rotate around like so. And then open up the chest. The head will fold in. Somewhat. Maybe. Supposed to, I think, but doesn't really want to, but it will. And then let's see. Okay, so this will detach from back here, and then the arms will fold up into here like so. I'm not using the instructions, so if I get something wrong, I'll, I'll check it later. Uh, I just want to see if I can get it. And then this will... I, I've watched a couple of reviews anyways. Uh, this is supposed to rotate but it's not doing it, like, at all right now. Um, is there a lock? This is supposed to go down. Doesn't look like there's supposed to be a lock. Ugh, I'll be right back. Alright, so I did look at the instructions, however, I had to figure it out for myself. So there is a little tab inside here that locks that into place, which is clever, except when you twist it too much, it's probably going to snap off, and I noticed some stress marks. So, clever, but dumb? <laughs> Question mark? Uh, anyways, okay, so these are supposed to open up like so. I don't know why a lot of these joints are very loose. But whatever, it's Ironhide, it looks cool, and there's some red plastic on my hand. That's always a good sign. I, I want to make a point. I'm not complaining about this toy. It's just there's, uh, well, I guess issues is, I guess, complaining about it. <laughs> what am I saying? I don't know. I just really want to get this Ironhide transformed. 
Uh, let's see. And that split open. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I see where that's supposed to tab in. But it doesn't want to. Because I'm probably stupid. Uh, let's see. Is the leg supposed to collapse in any way? Is the... You know what? Why don't we bring out the instructions? Stop being a stupid boy! Okay. So, flip that up, da, 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 da. It's pretty much essentially what I got right now. I don't know if there's an extra step that I'm missing. Let's see, bring that up all the way. And no, that won't lock in. So, what? <laughs> Why is Ironhide the one that's confusing me? There is, like, I can see that this is supposed to go into there. So that you can have this in its alt mode. But it doesn't want to. In fact, the tab doesn't even want to go in. So now it's like that. But it can't be like that. So how does it that? I don't know. It's very confusing. I'm scared. I'm going to cry. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that rotates around. I've seen the transformation before. Uh, I don't know... What do you want from me? I don't... I don't get it. <laughs> okay. So apparently those tabs, uh... were for nothing. You could plug the gun on top. What just happened? Anyways, that's um, that's Siege Ironhide. He's he's very cool now that I figured it out. It, it, it is a cool figure. I definitely recommend it. Um, I want to see if I can get the ratchet though, uh, and the crosshairs. That looks good. But uh, otherwise, very cool figure. You know, if you can figure it out. Uh, so please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes. And we'll see you guys next time.